Silicon Valley technology also helping a man drive a car for the first time, even though he can't see. Here's how Google is helping people search in a new way. Steve Mahan is getting behind the wheel of a car for the first time in seven years. Good Steve is 95% blind, but now he's driving with a boost from the Google self-driving car. It was one of the more exciting things that I've ever done in my whole life. The CEO of the Santa Clara Valley Blind Center is ready to drive again. No hands needed, just a lot of trust and apparently an appetite for fast food. You know, I was the one that wanted to go to Taco Bell and um, you know, thought, you know, why not? You know, why not eat in the car even though nobody else gets to? And he did while the car was driving. It was nice. Your hands are not occupied. You're not having to uh, make all the decisions, the driving decisions. You know, so you can actually concentrate on, on having a good bite of a taco. Google has now road tested its self-driving Prius for more than 200,000 miles, gathering data. On this particular ride, it gathered a new fan. I think it is absolutely an empowering thing. Um, I've received a couple of emails just this morning from uh, uh, blind and vision impaired people in different places that have seen the video, you know, that, are just, that have never had, that have, they've never had the hope of being behind the wheel of a car. New hope from new technology. Where this would change my life is to give me the independence and the flexibility to go the places I both want to go and need to go when I need to do those things.